What's up guys? So I'm back today because my friend Ray and several other people have recommended me the film The Void multiple times to watch and spooky season is here guys. It's October. We're rolling in it. So I'm going to be reviewing a lot of horror films this month. I always enjoy talking about horror movies in the month of October. Still going to balance in some A24 archive videos, probably some recommendations, but there's going to be a lot of horror content coming your way. And so I was like, you know what? This film was co-directed by Stephen Kostansky, who made one of my favorite recent horror films in memory, Psycho Goreman, and I was really looking forward to watching this one, and I'm very much looking forward to talking about it today. The Void is directed by Jeremy Gillespie and Stephen Kostansky. In the middle of a routine patrol, Officer Daniel Carter happens upon a blood-soaked figure limping down a deserted stretch of road. He rushes the young man to a near rural hospital, staffed by a skeleton crew, only to discover that the patients and personnel are transforming into something inhuman. As the horror intensifies, Carter leads other survivors on a hellish voyage into the subterranean depths of the hospital in a desperate bid to end the nightmare before it's too late. So I can't really sum up the movie much better than the description that I read to you. It's kind of funny. A lot of times I notice on letterbox films that are kind of middle of the road or not really well received have very, very dense descriptions. And yeah, this movie is a real mixed bag for me. I think that the performances in this are downright some of the worst I've seen in a horror film in recent memory. They're laughably bad. I think that the, especially the sheriff, the lead character, is awful. But as the plot description says, he's out one night on a routine patrol. He sees this guy come out of the woods. He's like, sir, are you okay? Is everything all right? And when he goes to confront him, the guy's like bleeding everywhere. So he drives him to a hospital that is literally being cleared out. They're moving to a new hospital. It's like the skeleton crew staff, but the person on the uh, police intercom says, hey, if you don't take him to this hospital, you're going to have to go like 40 minutes down the road and he might not make it. To get there, you're introduced to these people that are in there. There's an older man and his granddaughter. There's the police officer's ex-wife, I believe, maybe ex-girlfriend. I can't remember the specific detail that works there at the hospital. You have the doctor there at the hospital. Then you have these two suspicious gentlemen who show up and uh, the the lo another one of the police officers from the local town. And that's really it. You have that simplistic plot. What happens is that guy gets in there. They start questioning him. One of the nurses goes in to take care of one of the guys. Something happens to her. She ends up going crazy crazy and like cutting her skin off and ends up like stabbing this dude to death and then these guys in these white cloaks show up outside that have like triangles in the center of their masks and they clearly don't want our lead characters to get out of the hospital and so it becomes this sort of how do we escape type of game but there's not really a great reason for why all this is occurring. They do put in a little twist as to like, okay, this is why this is happening, but it's so sloppily delivered, and it's really not anything that you could ever guess, and it's hard because of how bad the performances are to really keep your investment strong, which was disappointing to me because I feel like that this movie did have a lot of potential. It just didn't hit as hard as I wanted it to. I will say the visual effects in this movie are outstanding. Steve even Kostansky really impressed me with Psycho Gorman with the mixture of practical effects and CGI and obviously some of it was played for comedy but most of it like straightforward was just some of the best practical effects I've seen in years and this movie has some stuff in it that is comparable to John Carpenter's The Thing that was just blowing my mind at how incredibly beautiful that the set design was and like the creature design was so horrendous and disgusting and grisly and I'm always really appreciative of a filmmaker who can do that the problem is is that the material doesn't live up to the visuals, which is really disappointing because if this movie had a better screenwriter, this could have been one of the best horror movies made in years. I just think it's really disjointed and that the, the storytellers had a really hard time kind of pinpointing and focusing the story so that the audience could have something to follow through with. Because I think of 
even a movie with like a looser plot, like something like Panos Cosmatos Beyond the Black Rainbow, which is a very disjointed, surrealist, art house science fiction film, but there's so much in the visuals and the way that the material is presented to you that it's really easy to sort of figure out where that story is going and piece it together in your head because Panos Cosmatos is an amazing visual storyteller and he doesn't necessarily need expositional dialogue or character characters just staring you in the face saying this is exactly what is happening and this movie it's like there's huge exposition dumps in periods and then you just kind of forget about it because it jumps to another scene with another random character that you're like oh they haven't been in the movie for 25 minutes and the runtime is super short and so it's really doesn't have the ability to waste a whole lot of time which is why that the end payoff just didn't do it for me and the last shot cuts off so quickly that I was just kind of like okay whatever I I don't think this is a movie that I'm going to remember a whole lot of I think it has a beautiful score and obviously like I said the cinematography and the production design it, it's just amazing and what they did with the visual effects and I would probably watch it again with people just to see the visual effects but like I, I'm just not interested in enough in the story to dive into this one again anytime soon. So have you seen The Void? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you thought. I thought this movie was run of the mill with amazing visual effects, which is disappointing because it could have been so much better than it actually was. As always, if you can like the video and subscribe to the channel, it helps me out a lot and lets me know the type of content you're looking for. I'm always putting out new material and look forward to getting more out for you in the near future. And as always, everyone, thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.